Uh, good morning, everybody. How are you? Um, first of all, uh, thanks uh, to CBA for having me here again after uh, 2015, which has been the very first year for me here in South Africa and at uh, KGM. Uh, because, you know, the, we will go through uh, the history of Morando. It's a very long history. And uh, we have been present here also in South Africa for many years. But uh, unfortunately, um, we disappeared. And uh, personally, I decided with my colleagues of Morando to come back here again because we have a lot of things to, um, to, to say and uh, we can uh, supply with our service and with our technology uh, your market, which is a very, very uh, peculiar market. Um, I'm following mainly uh, Africa, uh, the central part of Africa, now I'm following also other markets, but the, uh, the, the process I can find here sometimes is very, very uh, peculiar and in, very interesting. So thank you, uh, thanks also to the, all the speakers before, because it's always very, very interesting to, to listen and learn from you. Um, I also appreciate it a lot the motto, the subject of this uh, uh, AGM this year, because um, naturally we as a, as a company uh, in uh, uh, this difficult uh, era, we are implementing every day efforts to have uh, energy efficiency, um, sustainability, uh, which are words we are using every day in our offices, in our company, because reducing cost uh, and uh, uh, also thinking about an investment instead of an operating cost is always very important for, for our uh, job, for our uh, business. So, uh, very, very quickly, uh, I will go through our history. Um, we are an Italian company. Of course, we are based in the north part of Italy. And um, this is our story. We were born um, more than... Uh, at the, at the beginning of the, 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 the last century, and um, we had a very big expansion, of, of course, after the Second World War, when a lot of uh, um, development projects in, the, in our cities, in our urban area, helped us a lot. And we reached the peak uh, around the 70s last uh, century, when uh, we were very, very big. We were around uh, 1,500 employees all around the world, and we uh, bought more than 5,000 plants all around the world. Also, the, uh, the group, the Fiat group, bought Morando, and we were part, uh, all together with all the, those, those brands there, Ferrari, uh, Fiat, Lancia, because we were part of the Fiat group. But, of course, uh, things changed, uh, anyway, we were present, as I told you before, and uh, here, between uh, the 70s and the uh, 90s, we uh, sold more than 80 machines here and in, in installed also some plants here in South Africa. So, um, in the past, we knew very well this, this uh, country and uh, this business here in South Africa. Now, we are part of another group, and, uh, you know, uh, very well, the Keller, Keller Division, and uh, we are part of a big group, a French group called uh, Group Legree Industry. Uh, it's a family, they decided to invest in uh, several industries, so from the heavy clay industry, of course, uh, Savoie is part of the logistic industry and the textile in food, food machines for extruded food. We are based uh, in Italy, I told you, our colleagues are based in Germany, and uh, we are more or less now uh, 450, 50 employees, 500 employees, sorry. Last year, 2015, we decided to uh, do a sort of rebranding, and you can notice uh, from, the, from the logo, Morando now is become um, Morando Rita, and why? Because we put together our 
philosophy and our experience together with the technology of our <coughs> friends in uh, Rita, in Constance, and uh, created a, a very, very um, leading company in CPS, Great Depression and Shaping, putting together our flexibility, our knowledge, our experience with the technology. And everything now is produced in Italy, in Asti, in our workshop. So, this is interesting because putting together these two strong brands, now we have several advantages. And we immediately took advantage of the technology to create a new range of machines to, for, for several reasons. I, want, I don't want to anticipate, but of course, we put together our expertise and um, we started already um, introducing new box feeder range, new roller mills, uh, double shaft mixers and extruder of course. Some of you already seen uh, last year in, uh, at the Ceramitech 2015 uh, our roller mill, genius roller mill. But what the reason why? Uh, the reason why is because we strongly believe that we have to reduce our cost to let uh, the operating cost and the investment for our customer low and uh, increase uh, the efficiency also on the products. This is why. So we have this, uh, all this new range. I can spend uh, maybe just one second Talking about the, the genius roller mill that many of you have visited uh, the ceramic that I told you, well, there is, this is a basic, simple solution behind it. Uh, to reduce the forces, the counter forces, to, um, and easily manage them with the hydraulic cylinder system we can have. So, reducing these forces, we can also control very, very uh, carefully the gap between the two rollers, uh, reducing the wearing of the parts, uh, making the maintenance very, very easy. So, this is what we try to do with our engineers, reducing cost, operating cost, and increasing the capacity of our machines. So, it means that our commitment for um, the energy efficiency and sustainability is to increase the technological level of our CPS machines. In the whole process, we are considering today uh, the firing process, the drying process, which are very, very important to reduce costs. We've seen a very uh, nice example today. But also the CPS can do his part, okay? Uh, reducing the electricity, so the consumption, increasing the capacity, uh, reducing uh, maintenance cost, and so on. So also the installing and the reliability and the durability of the machine is very important. So we are investing in this direction. Uh, reducing the prices and the cost is also the, the main uh, subject also for you, brickmakers, of course. And um, of course, we are also looking forward to the final products because we have to consider that today we are produ producing facing bricks mainly, but tomorrow the products you can produce will be maybe others, like in other countries. So, for this reason, this is our target and our commitment. So, uh, as I told you, I appreciate it a lot. I took some of uh, your logos to move forward to new products we can uh, think about. So, when we talk about new products, uh, we are talking about state-of-the-art products maybe we have uh, in Europe, uh, where the insulation, again, efficiency on thermal insulation is very, very important. So, new shape of products we are thinking can be interested in all those products you can see here are products produced every day in every plant or maybe also in Italy or, or in Europe generally speaking uh, where it's important to also to consider the construction process when a, a, an architect 
can uh, prepare a project like this knows exactly how many blocks you need for a wall, uh, three meters high, and uh, when the mason is there uh, placing all these uh, blocks, which the weight is not so heavy, he, he knows already he needs 10 blocks like this, full stop, with a, a, a very low uh, quantity of mortar between them. So it's also uh, good for total cost of uh, investment in terms of building, uh, reducing the, uh, the quantity of uh, cement in the foundation, of course, uh, the quantity of mortar, the timing, and so on. Everything is uh, very easy to be managed at this level. Talking about other products, as Morando, we are participating to several um, research project, products. Our R&D department is very, very active. And um, this is just an example. Unfortunately, the, the, the project leader of this project is cannot be here today. But <clears throat> he, he passed me some information about this Lima project. You can Google it. And uh, with the European funds, uh, we participated with other companies to uh, this research project, product for new material. Uh, insulating materials, uh, getting from um, low embodied energy waste products. So, with this kind of solution, you starting with a very simple process. You are starting from waste material, okay, um, from waste processes with uh, perlite, bentonite, and so on, with a, a, a thermal expansion process. You can create different kind of final products that can be used for uh, as a loose filling uh, material or uh, boards, cement boards, or other kind of, uh, or filling material for uh, embedded products like the, 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 the bricks we've seen before, okay? Filled but with uh, uh, wool, but in this case you can fill them with this kind of uh, uh, long body waste material. This is because our pillars is at the end, our commitment to efficiency, in terms of efficiency for our company, for our production, our machines, but also for the, the, the final customer, for the, the brick maker, um, offering them our support on the technology, uh, technological side, but also on the final products it can produce in his uh, brickyard. So, starting from experience we've seen and our reorganization we have today, we are putting together our uh, engineering know-how with our production in Italy and uh, to create state-of-the-art products and uh, of course working together anyway, every day for, with the R&D department to produce new products and uh, new materials. I want just to close and uh, thank you everybody because this is our plant in Asti, in a very nice area, <laughs> in the green area. Uh, we have uh, a lot of hills, so it's a nice picture to close. Uh, and uh, here you have all my uh, contacts. We are working together, of course, with Claudius from Keller and uh, Peter from Selma Lab, so you can get in contact with us at any moment. Thank you very much.